this is Brittany from Just Be Crafty. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this super fun spring inspired project to bring some sunshine into your house because right now I think we all need it. This tutorial is geared towards intermediate beginners and higher and assumes you already know the following skills. Magic loop, chaining, single crochet, double crochet, and slip stitch. That's it. Once you've mastered those basic skills, I'm confident you can tackle this pattern. For the complete written pattern as well as my color schematic template, be sure to check out my free pattern posted on my blog or the printable version available for purchase in my Etsy shop. I'll have both versions linked in the description box below. Before we jump in, I want to take the time to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and to hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I post a new project. I share new patterns on Tuesdays and new stitch techniques on Fridays, so you definitely don't want to miss out. And now, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. For this project, we'll be making two large granny squares, just like this one. So I'm going to set this aside and we can work on the other side for now. For the yarn, I used Lion Brand Cupcake. It's a cake yarn, and before we start crocheting, I'm going to dissect this out bit by bit by pulling out the colors and then cutting to separate each color out. I highly recommend that you roll each of the colors into little balls just to stay organized. If you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've separated out all of your yarn colors. To start my granny square off, I'm going to begin with this neon pink color, and to begin, we're going to start with a magic ring. If you need help with this or have never heard of a magic ring, I'll put a link to my tutorial in the description box below. So in that magic ring, we are going to chain 5, which counts as a double crochet, and chain 2, and also into that magic loop, we are going to make 3 double crochets. So there's my first one, my second one, and now a third double crochet, and now we're going to chain two, and then make three more double crochets. So one. Two, three, and now chain two, followed by three more double crochets. So one, two, and three. So now we should have three clusters of three double crochets, and now we just chained two more, and now we're going to finish off with two double crochets. So one, and two, and we're going to pull our tail to tighten the loop. And we're going to use that starting chain 5 as the last double crochet of the round, plus the chain 2 to join our little square. You're going to join by slip stitching into the third chain from your original chain 5. So slip stitch into that chain. And now we're ready to begin round 2. So to start round two, you're going to slip stitch into that next corner space. And now we're going to, once again, we're going to start our round off by chaining five. And we're going to do this for each round. So that chain five is going to count as a double crochet plus a chain two. And then into that same space, we're going to make three more double crochets. So 
So this is our second one. And now our third one. Moving on to our next corner, we're not going to make any chains. We're going to just start off with three double crochets into that next chain two space. That's our second one. And this is our third one. followed by a chain two and then three more double crochets into that same chain two space. And now we're going to repeat that in the next corner. So you're going to do three double crochets into the next chain two space followed by another chain two and then three more double crochets into that same chain space. Moving on to our next corner, we're going to do the same thing. So three double crochets, followed by a chain two, and then three more double crochets. And now we're gonna finish off in the next corner with just placing two double crochets into that last corner. and then we'll join with the third chain of the starting chain five of the round. So slip stitch into that third chain of the starting chain five. And there you have it, that's round two. So then you're going to slip stitch into that next um, corner chain two space. So now we're ready to begin round three. Once again, for round three, we're going to begin by starting with a chain five, that counts as our double crochet plus a chain two, followed by three more double crochets into that same chain two space. And then in the next cluster space, we're going to make three double crochets. And if I'm going a little too fast for you in this video, I do have another tutorial that teaches you how to make a classic granny square. So for those beginners out there, I'll have a tutorial linked in the description box below for that as well. And I go just a little bit slower. So in our next corner, we're making three double crochets, followed by a chain two, and three more double crochets. And now you're going to make three double crochets into that next cluster space. Now we're at our next corner and we're going to do three double crochets. followed by a chain two and three more double crochets. And now we're moving on to the next cluster space and we're making three more double crochets. We're now at our next corner. Once again, we're doing three double crochets, followed by a chain two, 
followed by a chain two, and three more double crochets. In our next cluster space, we're going to make three double crochets. And now in our fourth and final corner, we're going to go in that next chain space and make two double crochets. So one and two. And we're going to join with that third chain from the starting chain five. You're going to continue to work in this fashion for the remainder of the project. So if you would, go ahead, complete one more round, and meet back up with me, and we can switch out our colors. Alright, so I'm finishing up round four. And this is going to be my last round for now of this color. And just like all rounds, you join with the third stitch of the starting chain five. But for this, I'm actually going to stop mid slip stitch and I'm going to cut my yarn and yarn over with my new color. So I'm going to go with this pretty teal color and then complete your yarn over with that and we're ready to start. So slip stitch into that next chain two space. And we're going to work this round five just like we have been previously. So you're going to start with your chain five. And then you're going to make three more double crochet. And I'll just flip this over just so you can see, but I'm actually crocheting over my tails as I go. And that way I don't have to weave in as many ends at the end, but that's totally up to you. So we're just going to work as normal. We're going to make three double crochets into our next cluster space. And I'm just going to continue to work this for two rounds and then I think I'm going to change my color. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've done two rounds of color two. So I've just about completed round two of my second collar and now I'm ready to join again. So I'll join with that third chain from my starting chain five, but I'm not going to completely join. I'm going to cut my yarn and I'm going to yarn over and complete the join with my new color. So I'm going to go back in with a pretty pink color and complete my slip stitch. And now we're going to slip stitch into the next corner chain two space. And once again, we're gonna start by chaining five and we're just going to keep working our granny square just as we have been for the remainder of the project. I encourage you to be creative here. You can change your colors whenever you want or as long as your colors are available, you can just crochet until the colors run out or you can change them more frequently. For my project, I did about 
20 rounds, which ended up fitting a 15 inch pillow. So you'll just want to make sure that you make both of your granny squares the same size. So if you'd like, pause here and meet back up with me once you've completed your giant granny square. Also, if you'd like to see the color schematic for the exact colors that I used or the order of colors that I did for both of my squares, be sure to check out the link in the description box below, which will take you back to my blog post. Here's what my finished square looks like. I've already made my other one, so I suggest to pause here, make your other square, and meet back up with me once both of your squares are done, and we can work on joining them together to form the pillow. You will also want to make sure that all of your tails are weaved in before moving on to the next step. With the right sides facing out and the wrong sides facing in, place your front square on top of the other. Line up your stitches as best you can and start in a corner. Grab the color you'd like for the border and create a slip knot. Insert your hook into the corner chain two space, making sure that you go through both layers. Slide the slip stitch onto your hook from behind the squares and pull up the slip knot through the chain space and chain one to secure. Chain one and make three single crochets into that chain two space. All right, so with your stitches lined up, now we will single crochet into each double crochet, making sure that we go through both layers. This might be a little bit tricky on the stitches that we slip stitch, but just do your best. Keep repeating this process until you have crocheted three of your sides together and making three single crochets in each corner. So you'll wanna have one remaining side open so that way we can put the pillow form inside our pillow cover. I'm finishing up my third side. I'm just gonna go ahead and do those next three corner single crochets. And now, as you can see, I have one side remaining open and I'm going to slide my pillow form into there now. That's a little awkward to show on camera, so my pillow is already inside of my pillow cover. And now I'm just going to work this fourth remaining side just like I have been for the rest of the project. We're just single crocheting each of the double crochets together to close up the bottom of the pillow. If you're not a fan of having this be an unremovable pillow cover, you could take this opportunity to perhaps not close up the bottom and add buttons, you could add Velcro to the bottom, you could attach a zipper. So I, you know, I invite you to let your imagination run wild, but for my project, I'm fine with having just a closed pillow cover that I'm not going to remove. This is going to be more of a decorative pillow. I don't expect to be washing it much. Now we're ready for our scalloped edge. I've just finished my last stitch and I'm not going to join. Skip two stitches and make seven double crochets into the same next stitch. So that's two, 
three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm going to skip two more stitches and in the third stitch I'm going to single crochet, skip two more stitches, and do seven double crochets into the same next stitch. Skip two more stitches, single crochet, skip two more stitches, and make seven double crochets into that next stitch. You're going to keep repeating this process until you get to the end of the round. At this point I'm almost to the end of the round and it looks like I am able to fit another single crochet and then I want to do another scallop before ending. I don't have the perfect amount of stitches and you probably won't either and that's okay. You can kind of adjust as you need to. I'm just going to skip one stitch here and I'm going to do another scallop. And then I'm just going to complete the round by joining with the first stitch of the round with a slip stitch. And so now at this point you can go ahead and cut your tail. And secure. Go ahead and take the time to weave in your tails and there you have it the bright granny square pillow i hope you found today's tutorial helpful if you did please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and if you haven't already and would like to be sure to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a new pattern i typically come out with new patterns on tuesdays and new stitch techniques on fridays so you definitely don't want to miss out thank you so much for watching bye